Hello, Sagittarius. Okay, so listen, guys, I will be giving you guys an extensive reading today because I was unaware until I was notified by a um by a viewer <laughs> that um those those didn't belong in here by a viewer that I had accidentally cut the video too short and I didn't realize that during the editing I was very tired so yeah all right let's get started now first I'm seeing around the corner okay that's at the bottom here with Virgo okay Something having to do in cancer season or with the cancer. Wednesday. The Wednesday is right around the corner. Wow. So if you have said and right up around the corner, really want it to fall on my lap again, so I will show it again. In case you are unsure of something that you are waiting for. That doesn't have to do with specifically a Virgo, but has to do with Virgo season and something to do with finances, money. Okay? I feel that really good about that. I feel like Wednesday, something you're expecting by Wednesday. So by the time you see this video, it could have been last Wednesday because I'm doing this video, what? September 10th <laughs> so um, yeah by this coming Wednesday or um, next Wednesday either way you will be receiving something financial right around the corner no you did receive something so if you had already received something right around the corner what is right on time today this video was right on time today this message stop wasting your time was in the reverse which lets me know you're not apps you're not wasting your time if you're Sagittarius um if you have Sagittarius in your chart and possibly Virgo in your chart as well um You're not, you're not, I don't feel you're in this uh, waiting on standby energy at all. I will be taking all of these. December. Something's happening after Capricorn season going into December, which will still be Capricorn season, because Capricorn season is from, uh, is from, uh, what, <laughs> is from December 22nd to January 19th, so something in December is popping off for a Sag, okay? So December is significant, okay? Not in this lifetime. I wanna clarify that. Capricorn is here, so Capricorn season, as I said, makes sense. I'm not clarifying that. Libra. That's October. So I feel like there's something to do with a Libra here. I will clarify that. I'm not taking all these cards though, I'm sorry. I'm just not. Uh-uh. You have Gemini, Uranus, Air, Mars, and Venus. So this could be, these are placements that your 
Libra is in or the Sagittarius in your chart is in. Neptune as well. And Pisces. That's what I see. I see all of these as being, oh, and uh, dealing with family. Has something to do with family. But Libra is strong here and Gemini for some odd reason. Air is really strong. <sighs> Way off in the future and longer than expected and not in this lifetime. I guess I'm going to have to take because I just broke it all down. So I will be clarifying all four of these cards with these here. Don't know why I felt like something, I don't know, something beautiful or colorful needed to be in the mix, something different. If you are youthful, if you are between the ages of 35 to 25, you are more, um, you're becoming more passive and, um, in a healthy, not passive, but more, um, mellow than passive. If you are 45 plus 60, to 65 years of age, you are stepping into a new vibrant, um, let loose energy with a specific person and or people. Not in this lifetime. Clarify that, please. The strength. Oh, wow. The Empress. Okay. Someone stepped into a new... Okay, wait a minute now. Wait a minute. I don't know, but if you have Virgo in your chart, you just most likely feel as though, I don't know, like you know who you are. I feel like this person is not, I feel like this is, I'm sorry, this is way too specific, but this is not a regular person. This is someone of celebrity status. <laughs> I've, I've never picked up on this before, ever, ever. This is someone who is famous, okay? But I'm not going to mention the person's name at all. Not at all. This person, uh, I got to read something for you differently. Okay, I figure what it is. You like to listen to a lot of Beyonce music okay um <laughs> um this person you are transforming or transforming yourself into some sort of celebrity where you are on like where um this is more than just youtube you're you're not you watch tiktok youtube and stuff but you're not average like person you uh, jesus yeah you in here you strong man you are super damn strong like you you have accepted something you uh, listen at this point in time of the video this portion of the video you people are most likely going to zone out because this really is not for anybody on YouTube that is like in my position, okay? No. This person I'm talking about right now, you actually have this status 
I'm sorry, I can't speak for the people that don't. You actually have it. So, why? What the fuck? Nine of Cups. You actually have it. You actually have it. This is not. You have it. You have a. You have a high status so high that you would relate to this video as I don't want to watch another poor, poor poor person's reading. That's how high of a status you have it. And I really don't want to do your damn reading. Really. Strength card, please. Why is this a Libra? Why is this, what is this Libra here? What's this Libra got to do it? Jesus. You've been, oh Jesus. Five of Pentacles, Three of Cups, The World. Three of Swords, Two of Swords. Five of Pentacles. I gotta look at this card. You have to hide who you are because of certain snakes around you. And you're being made to look poor or more trapped up. What the? F okay. More um, more enslaved to something than what you are because you are addicted to. You are addicted to. Uh, you are addicted to an over amount of power. And no matter what your form is. You are of another existence. Being. Two of Swords, that is why I'm using this deck here. So, you have a choice to make between choosing a soul of a young person. Sorry, I might lose a whole lot of Sagittarius after this one. <laughs> but, it's here. I was led to grab these cards. Okay? And this is the thing. This ain't even over with. Because this is not just your reading. But this is someone's reading who hasn't got there yet. But has changed up something so drastically in the damn universe right now. That they're on the way to this. Who is into this? That would watch. That would continue to watch this. Yep. This ain't a basic reading today. So you transform something. Shit. Okay. You have a choice to make. And it has something to do with birthing something that's not yet alive. Or does not exist. You will be able to celebrate way off into the future. But what you're concerned about isn't your position. That's t You don't have a concern about that. Not at all. You just are worried that you may actually end up liking something... If you get too far ahead, drawn in to this type of side of the world, that is very, very scary for you. Because you already are, from what I'm sensing, socially, sexually addicted and drawn into something that's longing, lasting longer than expected. You did not expect for this sort of type of feeling or energy to last this long. You travel a lot. You break a lot of people's hearts on purpose that you come into a relationship with. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you are... Um, 
you are already on some side of some sort of side of them and you are uh you are proud to be a um a prostis prestigious woman or man um what the hell does this have to do with the Sagittarius that's watching this? Nine of Wands and Prince of Pentacles. A lot of people that try to get to this status get knocked down. And that's why you have to move on and move on and move on and move on. Because there's only one couple. And that's the couple. That's the... Your... Um, the idol that you worship to go towards. And it would be Beyonce and Jay-Z situation. I am getting out of this. Okay, I'm done. I'm done here with this. I'm done here with this shit. We're going to look at a regular reading, okay, for the um, Sagittarius who are communicating with... Um, with people who are on this realm, okay? <laughs> okay, this is your person's side. Over here should be your side. Nope, we need Sagittarius's thoughts and feelings now, okay? Thank you. We need Sagittarius's thoughts and feelings. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Okay, I'm just taking that. I'm just, wow. Every card is hitting the ground because there are painful memories between the two of you. Neither of you know where to start every time you try to communicate with each other. That means you go away and you come back around each other and you're trying to figure out something. I should have started with a damn Bible verse here I really feel like I should um no I'm being told Jesus help me Lord. okay we into it you were right is in the upside down meaning you were not correct but yet you are constantly believing you are right about something that you are wrong about. We're going to clarify. I told you, you guys are getting an extensive reading because I cut the connection off last time by mistake and I can't make a decision. I feel like it's actually not okay. Yeah, that went right in with the last reading. But I feel like you feel that you can't make a choice, but I really am hearing more so... Um, you don't, you, is you, um, I need to clarify this. Hold on. I need, uh, my other, what cards do I want? Okay. Let me see something in here. Okay. And we're going to revisit your money reading again um you were right in the reverse okay okay so clearly Sagittarius you're used to being in some sort of control for quite some time um this person does not represent older or mature it just represents an emperor that is it. The meaning of card reading is to have you, the person, the viewer, these cards represent what you're consciously aware of and what you're unconsciously aware of, okay? When I do these messages, okay, I'm not doing a past, present shit with nobody. These messages are because this is what you are consciously aware of in your life, whoever this resonates for. If the title makes sense, you can thumbs up the title. You don't have to thumbs up the entire video. But 
if the message doesn't make sense, that doesn't mean the title isn't right, okay? I'm the creator of this, but you're the person who is either experiencing this or it's something you're too afraid to absolutely say or face, which is why you clicked on this when you saw the title in the first place. So, yeah, that controlling unexpectance um, of something is not realistic. You gotta let go of that. You gotta let go of that. Sagittarius, you gotta let go of that, okay? You cannot try to control everything. That's not how life works. You were wrong, okay? You were wrong for continuously not giving up something that is out of your control, which is what? What? Because you're using your emotions to uh, control a situation. That's got to stop. See, three of swords, you're using with the nine of cups. You are using your emotions, okay, in a unhealthy way towards this person or negatively with the damn nine of cups. And it's not considered to be, um, I'm reading your side, but I'm reading your side too. So just give me a minute. It's not something that's uh, dignified, not dignified, but uh, um, with integrity. Do you get what I'm saying? You're not, you're not going about something with integrity. And it could be the way that you speak to a person, okay? Because you're not over whatever they did or whatever they said, but... What's the solution? Wow. 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 Be more creative. Wow. Most likely possibly with a Taurus sign or a water sign. But, oh, sorry. That was upside down. Be more creative and romantic with, um, with, uh, not like, okay. I don't mean... I don't mean, because it seems like to me you decided to withhold the XES, okay? You withheld it. You haven't been giving up the Snicker bar, okay? You haven't been giving up the Snicker bar. And look who's right here. Do you not see the Four of Wands and the Queen of Wands are, like, not beside each other, okay? You two possibly sleep in separate beds. But... Even though you slept in separate beds at a specific point in time, um, you that that's all you did was just sleep, okay? And yeah, the fire came back. But now, what it is is you're just needing to, um, you know, let it let it go. Let it go. Seriously. You need to let go of whatever hurt the relationship. In order for the heart to heal, you need to learn how to accept the pain. Okay? Let me say that one more time. In order for the heart to heal, you have to accept the pain. Okay? The emotional pain. That's what we're talking about here. Okay? We're talking about the emotional, the financial loss, the physical, the mental. Let it go. And I feel like this is a female here that's like this. Yeah. Yeah, you hide behind your that you are a very dominating, controlling person. This person here is just smooth going. They're like chill. They're like, look, look. I can't help that I'm Mr. Suave. I know it's not funny, but I'm serious. That is their energy. You have to let it go. Like, uh, what are they doing? What What are they doing? What is What are the Sagittarius is doing? You're letting it go. You're absolutely letting it go. You're letting go of whatever was childish, unemotionally healthy, 
manipulative? Why? Because you're finally accepting peace and happiness instead of... You made a choice. You made a choice. You physically made a choice because the masculine didn't need to keep making a choice or a decision because, well, I mean, they've been fumbling and they they need... Well, why do... um? Okay, why do you need to do... See, sexual... Listen, this person... They, um, let me show you something. If I see a wand, then I, they're rotting to themselves, okay? Wow. The tower is here. You unexpectedly caught them doing it? And you flipped out. A wand. I just said, if not that wand. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they had it in their hand at the time. But um, they were absolutely thinking about you when they were doing it. But you're so intuitive and their emotions are running wild. You're so intuitive that you're not enjoying how to be, you know, except that you're a bit socially awkward. Because your person is a bit immature, but no matter your ages, Somebody here is very socially awkward. I can't do this right now. What can't they do? They're not going to sit there and keep carrying the woes and the burdens. And I think you both know that because for some odd reason, the seven and the six is here. But I feel like the seven is here first because someone's been saving money. Because they've been giving you a lot of money. They, whoa, whoa. Somebody said, no, they've just been spending money on bills. They haven't been spending money on taking me out or nothing. There's the damn rod, but they got a lot of time to do that, though. There's the rod I was talking about, where there was they were caught in the middle of excitement, and they did not get to finish because it ended before then. And I feel like they were paying somebody online to do this live <laughs> you may have caught them doing that before um this is going mighty left but they did do something painful in the past a long time ago or some time ago that you cannot let go of you didn't want to but i see it's ending now because you're not you it's getting hot in here so take off all your clothes. Okay, I need to see something else now. I I, I need some more. Give me some more for Sagittarius, please. Good. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. There's the love. See? I don't need to tell you what to do. This is what you're consciously aware of. You're going to be able to physically see this person's... Uh, I don't know, man. They're already following your damn lead. Clearly, you have the, you have uh, full control. Like, dude, you, they, they can't. You the one. Like you, you the Beyonce, man. Yeah, yep. You about to be accepting? Oh, you didn't accept somebody flowers in the past, child. Because you was holding on to this crap. But I feel like you're going to acknowledge what it is you, you can uh, let go of. And what it is um, worth holding on to. Because if you continue the same thing. If you continue the same thing. Okay. Damn that extra shit. If you continue the same cycle with either a Taurus a Leo, a Scorpio, or an Aquarius, because that is your major card here. So I'm not saying any other sign. That's just the major. Um, what's going to happen if Sagittarius is dealing with either of these signs and don't change? Okay. Leo at the bottom of the deck with the lovers, Gemini. Man. But, uh, yeah. 
what's going to happen? If you're dealing with any of these signs, they're going to assume that you have not changed and that the universe will also feel that way. With the Queen of Wands now coming out in reverse as someone who's bitter, who's unstable, who is possessive, even with the with the voodoo, okay? This the universe is going to cause this to look like this because this is a whole nother tower here. And this time, it's not going to be unexpected for the person to be a queen of wands. For you to be a queen of wands. A queen of wands don't get married. And if she does, she gets divorced because she don't want to change. I'm serious. The Queen of Wands does not is not married. And if she is, she gets divorced. You got to tame that lion inside of you, man. I don't know what else to say, but I feel like there's a young masculine here that feels that he cannot follow your lead unless for some reason because no he feels like he can't father, follow his father's footsteps because he doesn't want to be constantly stuck in some crazy ass cycle like this this person could be anywhere being a page and a knight anywhere from 25 to 45 and with the damn four yeah so yeah and I feel like it's only going to take until sometime around when oh right around the corner for this to happen if you're dealing with any of these signs and you have Sagittarius placements and you came to this video um yeah absolutely if you don't this is what it is because you're too busy wanting to be a damn queen of wands is how this person is viewing you sorry babes it is what it is a fiery energy instead of, you know, I don't know, man. It's like, seriously, though, unless you physically see what is, see what you're pro pro protesting to, you're pushing it away. You're pushing the people away. You're pushing your loved ones in fr away. You can either choose to be happy or you can choose to be right. Damn, four ones and sideways. Like I said, you can either choose to be happy or you can choose to be right. Either way, the choice, it is yours. If I see it, yeah. And I feel like you're choosing to not fight. Wait a minute here. No, you're being too passive. No, you're still being too passive because you don't want to be judged. Child, it's a secret shame of yours for some reason. You, um, you don't have shit to hide, though. And neither does your person. <laughs> nope. So you can either choose happiness because the overall major energy here, okay, is a male masculine energy okay the overall um supreme energy here was is the feminine energy with the two of cups being a female in the cup as emotions and the wand being here and queen and i'm sorry there's a lot of fire there's a little bit of there's still a little bit of fire in you but it's like this i feel like sagittarius you feel like if there was a situation where you could be the rescue to this person or like for example where you have to nurse this person and things like that then it work out but then you'd want them to get right back healthy so that they could be in remembrance of what you did for them and stuff like that and that's not necessary if you work in a nursing home this is what you're pushing on your patients too without realizing it yep If your parents in a nursing home, you are still holding some sort of 
man, grudge towards that parent. And you're just creating a cycle within your own bloodline. Something has to be broken on your end. You're the divine feminine. You're the divine feminine. Oh, okay. So your last message is it's good to feel good. Okay, when I was shuffling deck, I decided to just pull this and put the rest of the deck up. But it's good to feel good. Meaning, from what I'm hearing, Sagittarius is... Whenever you have a good moment, enjoy that moment. You'll have peace. You'll have respect. You'll be able to have the motivation that you're meant to have. But you need to be able to... Um, let others see this with you. Let them see that you feel good and that you're not ashamed. No matter who it is, smile, talk, communicate. Don't worry if they run, walk away. You still need to know and let them see you see it and, and that you feel good within them. That's all that I have to say um, for today, Sagittarius. I thank you for watching. And um, till next time, I hope this was extensive enough for you. All right? Bye. What happened? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know.